in the first question it is asked that we have to find the flux through a closed surface which enclosing a capacitor as the net charge enclosed by a capacitor is plus q and minus q which is zero so the net flux through capacitor no matter what c or v it has will be zero because it will be having equal and opposite charges on both the plates so answer is d the next question there are two capacitors each having a breakdown voltage v by breakdown voltage we means that if voltage applied across that capacitor is greater than v then it will break down so we have to find the equivalent capacitance and equivalent breakdown voltage of the combination just look at the other diagram so we have to find the equivalent capacitance and uh, breakdown voltage of the combination so just look at the other diagram in this there are two capacitors each having breakdown voltage v so the combination will have a voltage with uh, combination will will be able to bear a voltage 2v and the equivalent capacitance will be c by 2 so in the next question it is asked when they are connected in parallel what will be the c equivalent and what will the breakdown voltage so the breakdown voltage will be v because in parallel both voltages will be same and the equivalent capacitance as they are in parallel will be 2c in the next question um, what is the equivalent com uh, co capacitance of the combination as this capacitor it is connected across the same terminals it will be short and these two will be in parallel so you can look at the diagram the diagram will look like this these two capacitors will be between terminals a and b and this is along b and v so it will be removed and the circuit will appear like this these are equal capacitors so equivalent will be 2c in the next question it is asked that if a dielectric slab is inserted between the plates the force of attraction between the plates will change in what manner so we can see that force between the two plates is given by charge on one plate and the field of other which is sigma by 2 epsilon naught replacing sigma by q by a so we can say the field between two plates is given by this when dielectric is inserted we have to multiply k dielectric constant with epsilon naught so a factor which is greater than one k i'm talking about k so a factor which is greater than one will come in denominator so it will obviously decrease force will decrease by putting electric field or by putting dielectric between the plates as the charge is constant in the next question uh, battery is connected across a capacitor having unequal area plates one is large another is small so q positive and q negative are the charges appearing on these two plates we have to find whether they are equal or one is greater than other so we can just say battery cannot provide battery does not provide any charge to the circuit what it does it simply takes the charge from one plate and put it to the other so the charges has to be equal and opposite because when it takes the charge from one let's say it takes 10 electrons from one plate then that plate will become plus 10 e and when it put those 10 electrons on other plate that plate will become minus 10 e as the plates were initially uncharged the charge has to be equal in the next question a thin metal plate is inserted between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor of capacitance c such that they connect each, each other so this plate is connecting these two plates by this connection the potential difference will become zero and capacitance which is defined by q q by v as v becomes zero the capacitance will tend to infinity for this kind of capacitor again q equal to cv and c is equal to q by v so v becomes zero as it is connected to both the plates are connected there will be no potential difference between them so c has to be tending towards infinity in this question the graph of variation of potential as we move from this point to that is given 
obviously from graph we can say that there is large potential difference across C1 and there is a very small potential difference across C2. As they are in series, we can look at the solution. As they are in series, so the charge on both will be equal. Charge on both will be equal. C1 V1 must be equal to C2 V2. This is the voltage across 1 and this is the voltage across 2. As V1 is greater than V2, C1 has to be smaller than C2. So by just why the charges are equal because they are in series and it is given that V1 is greater than V2, we can reach the conclusion C1 is less than C2. In the next question, we have to uh, give the variation of electric field when uh, the oil which is uh, into in between the plates is pumped out. When the oil is pumped out, uh, the dielectric constant will become absent and uh, according to the expression given by this, you can see that field between the plates is given by sigma by k epsilon naught when the dielectric is present and it will be sigma by epsilon naught when dielectric is absent. So a factor from the denominator has uh, has reduced so E will obviously increase because the sigma is not changing. The charge on the plates will remain conserved and after pumping the dielectric constant will be absent so electric field will increase. Remember the value of K is always greater than 1. In the next question there are two capacitances C1 and C2 which carries some charges and when they are put in contact uh, the final charges on them are Q1 and Q2. We have to find which relation justifies the above statement. Uh, when the potentials, when they are connected, their potentials will become equal. So we can say that V1 will be equal to V2. Their potentials will become equal, V1 equal to V2. V1 is Q1 by C1, V2 is Q2 by C2, they will be equal. So we can say Q1 by Q2 is equal to C1 by C2. Just look at the last question, which is. We have to find the minimum and maximum capacitance which we can get from three capacitors of six microfarads. We can say that uh, to get minimum capacitance we should connect them in series and to get maximum capacitance we should connect them in parallel. So maximum capacitance will be 18 and minimum capacitance will be 2.